what is going on YouTube family so today and I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while but we recently went catfishing and so we got some baits uh, made by Berkeley that um, they kind of look like little smokies but they're plastic and I didn't know that at first I thought that it was kind of like uh, manufactured little wieners uh, for catfish bait um, and so we decided to try them on a jug and um, see if we could catch us some big catfish but we failed and I don't think that it was at any fault of our own. So we're gonna go over those here right now. All right, guys, so this is Berkeley's Gulp. And as you can see, I got it on clearance for $3. And there's these little things in here, little nuggets that look like little Smokies, like you'd buy and, you know, put barbecue sauce on them and, and um, go to town munching. Um, there's this one as well. Um, but they are... you can see they're just plastic molds and um, at the time when I bought them I did not know that they were plastic baits so imagine my surprise when um, I opened the package for the first time and uh, you know took one out and I had to to break it off from the others because they're you know just in a mold that they pour so we put those on jugs and we left them for a good eight hours and pulled out the jugs and the all the stink and everything uh, came off of them just washed them so the fish we're definitely not even interested at all in eating those. So we took them off. And the next thing that we tried was this, Wildcat Blood. And it's just a dough bait. So I took the circle hooks off and I put on uh, treble hooks. And I think it says, yep, right here. Let's get that zoomed in or focused in. Right here, it says to use a treble hook. So, I did not use this on a line, like on a rod and reel. We put it on jugs uh, just to see, just to test. I, I really enjoy, my wife hates it, um, but I really enjoy buying different baits and trying them out just to see what they do. And so, we put this on, and of course, with these... This type of bait, it's not meant to stay for long periods of time because the little fish are going to come and nibble on the sides and, and whatnot, and um, the water's going to just kind of corrode it away. We tried it, did not work. So if you're going to use jug lines, I would highly suggest that you do not use the little Berkeley baits at all just because I think they stink um, and not for catfish stink but uh, they just they, they don't work the way that they should 
and so <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest using those. Maybe that's why it was on clearance for three bucks. Um, but I wanted to do a video on it because I've tried it, and if you see it on clearance at your Walmart or whatever, don't don't do it. Don't even waste the three dollars because it's not going to work. Now, had they been on a rod and reel, and you put them in and you cast and you let it sit at the bottom of a creek or something like that. Who knows, maybe. And I might keep them and give it a shot one of these days on another uh, video just to kind of show you um, if it does or doesn't work. So I might do another review on them using a rod and reel. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do that I've been wanting to do for a really, really, really long time because I got this rod in March or April. I don't remember, but on Twitter, there's a gentleman named Gumpa, and Gumpa makes custom rods. So, I wanted to show you the custom rod that I bought. And this custom rod is a seven foot, um, and it is the Matrix American Tackle. I, had, I couldn't remember that. But anyway, Gumpa does an excellent, excellent job on custom rods. And I, I had the Big Guy Outdoors logo sent to him so that he could put um, it on there. And he did a amazing job on this. And so I have a Lose um, Baitcaster Tournament MP. MB, sorry, MB, tournament MB, uh, baitcaster reel on this. So let me show you this. Sorry for the shadow there. <clears throat> the sun's not working in my favor today. But. Blues Tournament MB. I have to say by far, this rod and reel is probably the best rod and reel that I own. And um, I am a lose guy. Um, so I had to put the lose tournament MB on there. Uh, I got that for Christmas by request. Thanks wife. Um, but this is definitely the best reel I've ever had. And to make it the best reel, I also use a product that some of you are probably familiar with called Real Snot. And so with Real Snot, you just kind of like whenever I restrung uh, my reel or relined, however, you, whatever you want to say, I put new line on there. And um, some other YouTube videos that I'd watched had said that you take a rag and you spray some real snot on there and as you're lining the reel um, you just kind of send the string through that sprayed part of the the rag and so I did that and wound it a couple times three four five six times and then sprayed the the line that was already on there and uh, what this does is it allegedly will uh, take some of the memory out of the line so <clears throat> And it does help, and I have noticed that it does help a lot. So, <clears throat> do that. Once you get it all wound up, then everything um, is all lubed. Spray a little bit on some of the eyelets, um, some of the guides. Um, this will also help if you fish through the winter. 
um, then what it'll do is keep your guides from freezing. As the water comes through there and the wind's blowing on it, it will keep them from freezing. So it's really great product. Product. I was um, a little skeptical at first, but I'd seen so many really good, uh, some real, no pun intended, good reviews for real snot, and so I had to give it a try. And for eight bucks at Walmart for, um, let's see, this is a two ounce spray bottle. Um, I've been impressed and my casts have actually gone further. There was uh, a part of a lake that I typically bank fish from uh, when we go to Brownwood and um, there's a part where it's got some vegetation out towards the middle and on a typical cast I'd get maybe six feet from the vegetation and so I really couldn't get it in there where any fish were and so with this real snot I was actually able to go about six feet past the vegetation and pull that uh, either the frog or the spinnerbait or whatever I was throwing I was able to pull through that vegetation, no problem whatsoever. So I would definitely give Real Snot a, uh, a glance and a try. Um, one of the lines that I like to use in, as a amateur fisherman here, still trying to learn, um, I've tried several different kinds of fishing line. And so some of my favorite fishing lines so far Berkeley. Yes, I know I just reviewed your product and gave it a negative, but Berkeley Triline um, is probably one of the best lines that I've used so far. Now, I haven't tried some of the normal or the, the premium stuff like canine and stuff like that, which I will do when I get ready to, to reline this, but. Um, I typically use on my reels, I typically use a like a spider wire braided line uh, so I can get real into like, you know, lily pads and stuff like that and I can just cut right through um, and I don't have to worry about it, the line breaking off or whatever. But on this new rod and reel, I put this trilene on there, 10 pound, uh, I believe it's fluoro, doesn't say, so it might be mono. Um, but it's low vis green and I haven't had any issues at all um, and even some of the the fish that I have caught that I thought might break it off um, in one of the videos that I previously posted um, I was very impressed that such a large fish um, didn't break it off so anyway guys uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like it uh, make sure that you hit the bell uh, so that you get future notifications and uh, be sure and check out bigguyoutdoors.com for some new t-shirts that we have. All right guys, have fun.